The Boy Scouts of America was founded 109 years ago, and in that time, only an estimated 450 Scouts have earned all 137 merit badges. Now, two brothers here in the Treasure Valley have joined that exclusive club. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with them, and she's here now with their journey. Shira? Gretchen, what makes this journey even more special is the fact that those brothers are twins, and what they've accomplished is something less than 1% of all Eagle Scouts have reportedly done. This is for the radio merit badge. It's actually an antenna. Eagle twins Tyler and Blake Nelson have joined an exclusive club, accomplishing something few others have done. For the dentistry merit badge, we make molds of our own teeth. They've earned every single merit badge offered by the Boy Scouts of America. That's 137 merit badges total. Scouts honor. Merit badges are just a really cool way to um, explore different careers. They're a really great way to um, help you become a better leader. We've done uh, rock climbing, exploring, kayaking. Mining and society, yeah. geology, radio, programming, truck transportation. And the list goes on. We like to think of it as we've been climbing this mountain for four years now and we've gotten to the top where not many people have been before and it shows us that we can do hard things. If we put in hard work, we can, you know, always get to the top of one of our goals. The 15 year olds have been working toward the goal for four years. Their first badge earned. <laughs> was for music. And their final badge. Dog care. Dog care. <laughs> we got a dog to do it. It says that you need to take care of a dog and feed it and clean up after it and, you know, kind of help train it for two months at least. And before this, before the merit badge, we did not have a dog, and we had 136 merit badges. And my mom did not want a dog, but yeah. we couldn't stop that. But what about the most difficult badge to earn? Any guesses? And definitely bugling. 137 memories they can now look back on. It's really cool because we're gonna hopefully look back, you know, 20 years from now, and just um, remember things that we've learned and the experiences that we've had, and all the memories that we could pass down to our kids, and hopefully inspire them. Tyler and Blake say it's really been a team effort with their parents and different folks in the organization like their scoutmaster. They're now waiting for the court of honor ceremony to receive the badges, but they tell me they're not stopping here. They say there's a lot of other awards and they, that they can still achieve and they want to help and inspire others to follow in their footsteps. Gretchen? All right, thanks, Sure. That's interesting that they said bugling was the most challenging, but learned the brass instruments and it was kind of okay. an on and off thing, so. Okay, well, very cool they did all that. That's <laughs> awesome.